Hi guys, it's Monday again, and you know what that means, it's car beauty time. Oh, tell you what, yesterday was absolutely gorgeous out there. Um, so much so, uh, I went to the car boot and then I had to hit the beach, hence uh, the intro on this week's video. <laughs> you've seen the car boot, now you've seen one of our many beaches. Okay, so after relaxing yesterday, chilling out, beers, nice meal, uh, time for some work again. So, I just got uh, two things at the car boot uh, yesterday. Uh, one of them, actually, I was given... Uh, by a guy who actually really sells second-hand clothes. Uh, I've got to know the guy over the years, and uh, my missus has sent bags full of clothes and down stuff to him, the wife has. So uh, he says, oh, anything I find, he says, the throwing now, so I'll let you have if he's electronic. Uh, so he's given me a couple of things, actually. Um, in fact, let me just get the thing he gave me the other week so you can see this one first. A laptop uh, with a Ferrari emblem on it. Um, he gave me this uh, a couple of weeks ago um, for free. Uh, it tells me actually he thinks this is working, so uh, we'll give it a try. All I'm saying is it, it's all covered in some horrible, sticky, gooey stuff on here. I don't know what this is. It's like gluey, sticky stuff. So that's going to have to be cleaned off. Uh, and we can have a look see if it works. I, I don't think there's anything amazing. I think it. It says designed for Windows XP, so it's quite an old one, but somebody actually might even collect these things. I don't know. So we can see if that's working. Um, anyway, yesterday, um, put that on one side. Same guy, uh, so look, I'm glad you're here. Because I've got this for you. <clears throat> Um, I don't normally bother with this sort of stuff. It's a uh, like HP, a little HP system. It says AMD64 on it. Again, designed for XP, so it's quite an old machine. Um, but he doesn't know if this is working or not. Um, so we can pull it in. You know, even if the thing itself isn't worth anything, I, I, don't, like, I doubt it's of any value. This and it's it's heavy. It's too, it's probably too hefty even to consider posting this to someone if I put it online for sale, you know, for what it's worth. Well, we might get a processor or, or some RAM out of it. Anyway, we can try that. So, I got that yesterday for free. And the last one... I got this. Uh, just an ATX power supply. Uh, but I quite like the look of it because it's hard, like a... 20 or 24 way on here it had eight way and six way and four way connectors it had uh, it, it had ide and sata connectors and this is a useful one for testing in the workshop i thought um it's not as powerful as the other one i have but it's 600 watt um looks like a, it's fairly hefty you know it looks like it's quite a well-made power supply and uh, I wanted to give him five euros for this. He wanted 20, would you believe? I said, I said there's function R, there's no function R, R C, C function R, yeah. Or, or solo prueba. You know, have you only just, solo no prueba. You've not tested it. only not tested. He didn't know. Uh, he said it's working. Uh, I, I hope this isn't working. I actually, I bet I'll be giving 10 euros in the end. We have to somewhat go in. And I, I bought it mainly because, A, it's, for 10 years if I get working it's useful around the workshop and B because I'm hoping it's full so I hope something wrong with this because it can make a nice video um, it also smells a bit electrically mind I'm a power supplier for this age it might smell that way anyway uh, so we have that as well and hopefully that might make a video so uh, let's have a quick look shall we um, the laptop I haven't got a power supply for which he just gave me the laptop uh, we could test that, I'm guessing. Uh, this thing, we can try it, uh, but as with most things, I uh, have, I don't know the condition of it. Let me move this out of the way. So you have uh, the Variac here, but it's set to 240 volts. Powers the sockets down here. And this is my light bulb, yeah, it's a 60 watt light bulb. 
and um, I've shown this before but maybe you haven't seen all the videos so I'll just uh, do this again um, let me show I'll draw it and I'll show you what I have so okay let me just draw it in With all my magic drawings. So yeah. So you can see, in mains power in, a light bulb mains power out. This is a, on this one. It's a sixty watt light bulb, and I have another one with hundred. It has a sixty plus a one hundred. Um, so the idea is you can get your power in here, you connect your unknown device to here, and if there's a short circuit on this, so effectively you connect there to there, the light bulb comes on. That's all that happens, the light bulb comes on. Uh, if you want, you can close this switch and then just send the power directly through without the light bulb. So I'm going to connect this uh, thing up through this circuit first, because I don't know what condition this is in. Let's see what happens. As you imagine, it's not likely to go bang because probably if it was going to go bang, it's already gone bang, if you see what I mean. Uh, there's no fuses on the back of your anything, so we could just put a new fuse in just to make it go bang when I plug it in. Uh, so we're going to plug it in uh, with, with no load, so we just should just get 5 volt standby out of this. And um, we're just going to switch it on uh, by the light bulb. And the light bulb's lit up. It's not full brightness, but it shouldn't do that. Um, let me find um, my test power supply. One moment. Uh, this is the Asus that I use on test rig, yeah. You've, hopefully you've watched the videos, you've seen that being used quite a lot. So, we'll plug the power into this one. Okay. We'll plug the power into this one. Again, no load. And we'll switch it on. It didn't light up. That's because it's not switched on, by the way, on the back of the switch. Or it's not plugged in properly. One moment. Yeah, that's what should happen. One flash and then it goes dim. So it draws some power out, charge all the capacitors up. And then it's just drawing a bit of power. So it's just drawing a low power now. Because the standby supply should be working. And even still connected to that, I should be able to see uh, we have standby voltage. Uh, five volts coming out of it. This is without the power supply started, without all the but we should have standby. So I'm just connecting to the black and to the violet purple, which you stand by. Okay, so that's between purple and black, and there you have five volts standby. So we know this power supply is okay, we can switch the light bulb out, that's just got normal power on there. But that's not what's happening with this one. Take my test meter off that before it ends up on the floor. Untangle from that one. So you see what's sure happen, yeah? A bit of space, right? So we see this one is it's basically lit up and stayed on bright. Yeah, I'm very interested to see if this gives us any standby. There's certainly interesting enough for me to want to open this up and find out why it's drawing so much power uh, when it's not supplying anything. Okay, this is different. This got a grey wire for no, it hasn't. No, it's got purple, purple wire. One, two, three, four. Okay, switch it to go back to the light bulb, not the main, so I don't want direct power on this at the moment. Switch it on, yeah. And this has got no standby, yeah. So we can see this power supply has a problem. I'm just be sure that's the right wire because it's different colour. One second, I'll check on the other one. Yeah, purple, grey, it's just a bit of an odd colour. So, this gives no standby and draws a lot of power. So there we have a repair video. Hey, that's what I wanted. Something else we can fix. Uh, okay, guys. So, um, oh no, I'll tell you what, before we go, let's have a look at that computer, shall we? That guy, the guy gave me for free. Let's see. Uh, 
Let's see what that does. Okay. So again, um, we don't know what conditions this is in. Um, there's the uh, to the screen. I'll just put screen and power up. Bother with anything else. I'll leave this on the limiter, so I'm expecting this to either to light up and then go dim, or continually flash on and off because it's drawing, it's trying to restart, yeah? And if it lights up, lights up and gone dim, that's good, it's gone off. So we can switch it to mains, and we can start this up. Sounds good. It's making noises. It's gone quiet. Ah, the LED uh, on the monitor's gone. Yeah, this is, uh, this is booting. Yes, oh, starting windows. No uh, keyboard or mouse attached, but this is looking like it's working. Um, yeah, that's loading windows. I think the best thing with this, really, is to have a look. Yeah, it's got a password on, which I don't know. Um, it's obviously got somebody's... <laughs> There's so many data on this, you can see that much. Um, I think what I'll do with this, you know, is I'll uh, have a look to see what processor in it, what RAM's in it, uh, and see whether it's actually worth anything, but I doubt it's worth anything. But if not, then I'll probably just use it for salvaging uh, parts out of, really. Okay, guys, uh, see you on the next video. Hey, actually, I was just going to go then, but just a quick one. Um, I uh, opened this up, uh, this old AMT machine, um, and basically inside it, I found a pair of uh, 512 meg uh, DDR 400, which are not really worth anything, but they're useful for keeping my bits. Um, there was a, a SATA hard drive, uh, but it's only a 250 gig, so useful for testing with but not, you know, anything 500 gig and more I often keep it around the workshop uh, for storing schematics and data especially for storing backups but I'm not going to bother too much with that and this little 2 Eon AMD 64 processor which is a 2 gig um, I looked up the, the actual part number I can't find the same as this on eBay but suggested that this is worth somewhere in the region of about ten dollars, which is about probably I don't know, it's more than that in UK. No, it's less than that in UK. Uh, so yeah, I mean, it cost me now, so I might get a tenner out of it. But you know, ten is a tenner, all the same. Um, so that's what was inside it. It's working, but it's of no real interest. Um, it's not worth anything. I've had a look, and uh, there's no expansion slots on the motherboard, so it's no real use to me. Um, unless I keep the motherboard just in case I pick up any more of these processors on something more interesting and want to test them. So I'll probably uh, actually just keep hold of this motherboard. Um, it's not, which means I have to keep hold of the power supply, but fair enough. Uh, that's what I think I'll do with this. It's worthwhile, maybe. Uh, it's a socket uh, 754. I haven't got any, anything for testing that particular type of socket, and it's possible in the future I'll pick up some uh, retro gaming type stuff that's interesting to use this socket I need to test. So it's not going to be in, but that's basically what it's going to be useful for me. Okay, guys, that is the end of this one, and I'll see you on the next repair.